Hello and welcome to our video tutorial on how to use the Spritz e-reader. In this session we will be covering the basic use of the e-reader including how it works, how to get around inside the e-reader, and what all the controls do. The e-reader uses your web browser and supports most major internet browsers including Google Chrome, Firefox, and the Apple Safari browser. It also supports just about any device that you will use in the classroom or your students will use at home including desktops, laptops, Chromebooks, and tablet computers. Your students will begin their reading session by going to a web link, commonly called the URL. To make things easy, we suggest that everyone goes out and bookmarks the Spritz e-reader in their browser of choice. Once your student is logged in with their Houghton Mifflin login name and password, see our previous video if you need help here, the e-reader will then go out and check with HMH and return the books that are currently available in the student's digital library. Once the student is logged in, they will be shown their library screen, where all their books live. The e-reader automatically keeps track of all books in the library and your student's position inside of each book as they read. To begin reading a book with Spritz, a student will select the book from the library and it will be brought up in the browser for reading. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, before we begin, there are a few important points about the Spritz e-reader that you should know about. First, we maintain the original ebook layout for all of your content, so even if your students never read with Spritz, they can still use the Spritz e-reader as a traditional e-reader. We'll go ahead and flip through a couple of pages so you can see an example. Note that everything in the book is there. However, while it's possible to use the Spritz e-reader as a traditional e-reader, that wouldn't be much fun now, would it? Let's get into some things that make our e-reader special and unlike anything else. When we set out to create our e-reader, we worked with a lot of teachers to help us determine some core principles. Most importantly, we decided that the Spritz e-reader needs to really drive reading focus for students. Let's take a moment to show how we accomplish this. Reading with Spritz is a bit different than reading traditionally. Instead of presenting each word to students in a row, one after the next, Spritz displays words one at a time in a special display window that we call the reticle. This reticle is where all interaction with the content happens for a student. Let's give it a try. To start reading the content on any page, simply click the play button that is next to any content that you can read using Spritz, or click directly inside of the content that you would like to read. As you notice, a few things have happened here. The content that was selected by the student will begin streaming one word at a time in the reticle. For your students, learning to read with Spritz is really easy. Simply instruct them to look at the red letter. Let's try it here for a moment. Okay, pretty easy, right? A student can also adjust the speed that their content plays at by either clicking or tapping on the rate controller on the bottom of the reticle at any time. Let's speed it up just a little bit. Let's take a moment now to talk about the speed that your students use to read with Spritz. Keep in mind that the goal is for your students to read their content at an appropriate speed based upon their abilities, the relative difficulty of the content, and even a student's mood during the session. Proper reading with Spritz involves a student entering into what we call the Goldilocks Zone, an individual reading speed that's not too fast and not too slow. It's just right. We found that everyone intuitively finds Goldilocks Zone for themselves, but it's worth mentioning. In addition to selecting their own speed for Spritz, students can also choose what we call manual mode, which will allow them to advance through their content word by word. Please watch our video on how to use manual mode with your students for more information on this innovative new feature. Okay, so now we've talked a little bit about how to adjust the speed on the fly for your students. Let's talk about a couple other things that the Spritz e-reader does specifically to help students read better. You'll notice that when the reticle is playing, that the background automatically dims. This is, once again, to help maintain focus on the text that is currently playing inside the reticle. For conditions like some forms of dyslexia, ADD and ADHD, it has been found that removing all of the extraneous items on the screen that could draw focus away from the reading material makes it easier to read for many students. The Spritz e-reader does this automatically, and the dimming effect is configurable by the student. Also, the reticle can be positioned anywhere on the page by the student and at any time. Let's go ahead and move it around a little bit. Next, let's take a look at what happens when a student needs to take a look at the page again. Perhaps they want to reference a chart or look at a picture that relates to what they're reading about. The reticle can, of course, be turned off at any time by simply clicking or tapping on the X in the upper right-hand corner, and the student will then be presented with their page in traditional layout so that they can check out anything that they need to. 
clicking on the X. This is also useful in the event that they need to go back and close read something traditionally. Okay, now let's look at a situation where the reader simply needs to take a break while they're reading or wants to reread something that they just saw. We'll go ahead by starting up the reticle again. We've made it really easy to pause the reticle and still see exactly where you are in the page. Simply click anywhere inside of the reticle and it will enter what we call the pause state. A couple of interesting things happen when the reticle enters the pause state. First, the word and sentence that you're currently reading in the reticle are highlighted so that you can see exactly where you are. Notice it here. Next, if you want to move through the content, there are also forward and backwards buttons in the reticle that allow you to do just that. Notice that when you click on these buttons that the highlighting for the traditional text also continues to track your current position. Let's go ahead and move forward a couple of sentences by clicking on the right hand arrow set. Let's take a look at what the buttons on the left hand side of the e-reader do. To do that, let's switch books, which you can always do by selecting the large R at the upper left hand corner to take yourself back to your library at any time. Let's go ahead and select a new book. We'll do Keeping Up with Claire. First up on the left hand side is the icon that looks like a book. Clicking here will bring up the book's table of contents. Clicking on any of the additional chapters will forward the student to the first page in that chapter. Next, to move forward and backward through the content, use your right and left hand arrow keys. Clicking on the right hand arrow key will move you forward one page at a time, and clicking on the left hand arrow key will move you back one page at a time. The icon that looks like a moon, and sometimes the sun, toggles back and forth between day mode and night mode for the reticle. When the sun is shown, clicking on the reticle will show you Spritz in traditional day mode. Toggling it to the moon will put you into night mode for the reticle. Note that we don't change the original layout of the content, so even if the reticle is in night mode, the background content will still be as the publisher designed it. The button that looks like a play button toggles what we call spritz tips. Those are the lines that are drawn around content that the student can read using spritz. Clicking this button toggles the functionality off or on. Here we'll make it disappear. Clicking the icon will bring it back. There's also an icon that looks like a light bulb. It's there to toggle background dimming on and off when the reticle is streaming text. We'll go ahead and turn it off here. Note will now be in night mode and the background of the screen won't be dimmed. The student can configure all of these themselves. Put it back in day mode and turn dimming back on though. Lastly, the magnifying glass icon toggles the size of the traditional page between full screen mode and what we call reading mode, which splits the page so it can be read comfortably in a traditional manner. In addition, the e-reader allows students to adjust the size of their browser window. This is especially handy for students that have ocular tracking issues. Here's an example. I'll go ahead and just make the browser larger. And as it grows larger, the size of the text also changes. There you have it. That is how the basic functionality of reading your Houghton Mifflin eBooks with the Spritz eReader works. We also have created a wealth of options that will allow children to customize their reading experience. Check out the next video on the series for instructions on how to customize a child's reticle to match their particular style of reading. Also, if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us via the methods below, and thank you for taking the time to learn more about the Spritz eReader for struggling readers. Thank you for your time.